That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. From explosions in the sky to chilling mysteries in the depths of space, NASA holds some seriously dark secrets. It's no secret that astronauts risk their lives in the pursuit of space exploration, so let's take a dive into some of the most harrowing moments. Starting off today, we are talking about Apollo 13 from 1970. Famously dubbed the successful failure that captured the world's attention in 1970, this is just a classic classic tale of human grit and ingenuity. Just when everything seemed to be going smoothly on their voyage to the moon, the crew heard a loud bang. An oxygen tank in the service module had exploded. This turned their mission from a moon landing into a sheer survival scenario. Stranded over 200,000 miles from Earth, the astronauts Jim Lovell, Jack Sigwert, and Fred Hayes faced plummeting temperatures, a critical shortage of power, and and a carbon dioxide buildup that threatened their lives. In a true testament to problem solving under pressure, the crew and their ground team improvised solutions in real time, including using duct tape and spare parts to fix a life support system. The aircraft made its way back to Earth safely thanks to these heroic efforts. The ordeal led NASA to overhaul spacecraft designs and revamp their emergency protocols, ensuring that future crews wouldn't have to rely on such MacGyver-esque tactics in the void of space. Next we are talking about Gemini 8, which took place in 1966. The Gemini 8 mission turned from a routine to a heart-stopping thriller right in space. Astronauts Neil Armstrong, one of the most famous of all time, and David Scott were aiming to perform one of NASA's first major space maneuvers, a docking with another spacecraft. However, not long after achieving this historic feat, things went sideways, quite literally. One of the thrusters on the Gemini spacecraft jammed open, causing them to spin uncontrollably. Armstrong, showcasing the cool under pressure demeanor he'd later be world famous for, made a split second decision to undock and abort the mission. By activating the re-entry thrusters, he stabilized the craft and headed back to Earth, splashing down safely in the Pacific Ocean. This hair-raising episode prompted NASA to tweak the design of the Gemini spacecraft, ensuring that future missions wouldn't have the same kind of spin cycle drama. Next we are talking about Soyuz 1 that happened in 1967. Not a NASA mission, I know, but a very harrowing story. Soyuz 1 in 1967 was a mission that turned tragic due to a series of malfunctions. Piloted by the lone cosmonaut Vladimir Komarov, Soyuz 1 was plagued with issues right from the start. The problems began with solar panels failing to deploy fully, compromising the spacecraft's power supply. But the real disaster struck during re-entry when the parachute system, crucial for slowing the descent for a safe landing, failed spectacularly. Instead of a controlled descent, Komarov was doomed to a fatal plunge back to Earth. This heart-wrenching incident was a complete wake-up call to the global space community, underscoring the critical importance of redundant safety systems and rigorous checks. It was a very tough lesson in the risks of pioneering space. Next, we are talking about Cosmos 954, which took place back in 1976, and it was a Soviet surveillance satellite that went on a wild ride when things went very, very wrong. So this wasn't your typical satellite, it was actually nuclear powered, which was pretty intense to begin with. Its mission was to spy from orbit, but it ended up causing a major international problem. Due to a malfunction on its onboard nuclear reactor, Cosmos 954 didn't stay in orbit as planned. Instead, it came crashing down, scattering radioactive debris all over a huge swath of the Northwestern Territories in Canada. This wasn't just like a little mistake, it was a really big problem. The Canadian government had to launch a massive cleanup effort dubbed Operation Morning Light. Teams had to get decked out in protective gear and scour the wilderness trying to recover all of this dangerous debris. It was like a very high stakes treasure hunt, except the treasure was not treasure at all, it was just 
toxic waste. This cosmic mistake not only strained international relations, but it also showed the risks of nuclear powered satellites zooming around above our heads, which fair enough. Just more threats in space. I love it. How can we make space more scary? It's not scary enough. Next on our list today, we are talking about Intelsat 708. In 1996, which was a great year, the launch of the Intelsat 708 satellite turned tragic when things went sideways. The mission, powered by China's Long March 3B rocket, was off to a shaky start as it dramatically veered off course just seconds after lifting off. The wayward rocket didn't just fail to send its commercial satellite into orbit, it crashed into a nearby village, resulting in a catastrophic scene. This disaster was particularly severe not only because of the mission failure, but also due to the unknown number of civilian casualties that it caused. The incident showed the risks of launching rockets in populated areas and led to increased scrutiny and improvements in launch safety protocols to hopefully prevent such tragedies in the future. Next, we are talking about the X-15 Flight 36597. In 1967, during a high altitude test flight that pushed the boundaries of what was technologically possible at the time, the X-15 flight turned absolutely tragic. Pilot Michael J. Adams was at the controls of this hypersonic rocket-powered aircraft aiming to explore the edges of outer space. Unfortunately, the flight did not go as planned. At an altitude of about 266,000 feet, the X-15 began to gyrate uncontrollably. This violent oscillation caused Adams to lose control, and the intense stress on the aircraft eventually led to its structural failure, and the X-15 broke apart, claiming Adams' life. This heartbreaking incident was a reminder of the perils associated with pushing aerospace technology to its limits. The lessons learned from this accident led to improvements, particularly in managing high-speed flight dynamics, ensuring that future test pilots would be safer as they took to the skies and even a little beyond that. Next, we are talking about Soyuz 11. This is another one that comes from somewhere other than NASA. The Soyuz 11 was a Soviet space mission in 1971, and it is etched in history for a heart-wrenching reason. It remains the only instance where astronauts died actually in space rather than during launch or on re-entry. The mission started with very high hopes as it successfully docked with the world's first space station, the Salyut 1. However, disaster struck during the homeward journey. As the spacecraft was preparing for re-entry into Earth's atmosphere, a faulty valve opened, causing the cabin to depressurize rapidly. Tragically, the lack of appropriate space Suits meant that the three brave cosmonauts on board, Georgi Dobrovolsky, Viktor Patsyev, and Vladislav Volkov, could not survive the sudden loss of air. This catastrophic event led to immediate changes in safety protocols, including the mandatory use of spacesuits during critical phases of flight, ensuring that such a tragedy would never happen again. Despite the very somber end, Soyuz 11 marked a significant chapter in space exploration reminding us of the immense risks astronauts undertake. Next, we are talking about the Apollo 1, originally designated AS-204. This mission was poised to be a pivotal mission in America's moon-bound journey, but it turned tragic before it could even launch. In 1967, during a routine pre-launch test on the launch pad, a fire erupted inside the command module. Tragically, the fire spread incredibly quickly in the pure oxygen environment, and the hatch design, which was difficult to open under the best of circumstances, became a fatal flaw under these dire conditions. The three astronauts on board, Virgil Gus Grissom, Edward H. White, and Roger B. Chaffee, were unable to escape and died in the fire. The investigation into the disaster led to major design and safety overhauls in the Apollo spacecraft, including a redesign of the hatch to allow for rapid egress, changes in the materials used within the cabin to reduce flammability, and the replacement of the pure oxygen atmosphere with a nitrogen-oxygen mix during ground operations. This tragic event 
deeply affected NASA and the nation, but it led to significant improvements that enhanced the safety of future missions. You know, I hate that there's always got to be an example where it's like, oh, well, now we know, so now we'll fix it. Hindsight is 2020, though. You know what they say, I guess. I guess that's just the way of the world, unfortunately. Next, we are talking about the Space Shuttle Challenger, one of the most famous NASA disasters in history. On a chilly morning in January 1986, the Space Shuttle Challenger was set to soar into the skies with a crew of seven, including Krista McAuliffe, who was poised to become the first teacher in space. Just 73 seconds after liftoff, the world watched in disbelief as the Challenger tragically broke apart over the Atlantic Ocean. The root cause? A seemingly minor component called an O-ring in one of the solid rocket boosters. This very crucial part was not designed to withstand the unusually cold temperatures that morning, and it failed to seal properly. As a result, hot gases escaped during liftoff and weakened the attached hardware between the booster and the external fuel tank, leading to catastrophic failure. The disaster not only claimed the lives of all seven astronauts, but also led led to a 32-month pause in shuttle flights. NASA went back to the drawing board, overhauling its safety protocols and procedures to ensure such a tragedy would never happen again. And finally, closing out our list today, we have the Space Shuttle Columbia. In 2003, the Space Shuttle Columbia disaster shocked the world when it broke apart during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. What went wrong? Well, during its launch, a seemingly small piece of foam insulation broke off from the shuttle's external fuel tank and struck the left wing. This seemingly minor collision actually caused a critical breach in Columbia's thermal protection system. These tiles are crucial because they protect the shuttle from the intense heat generated during re-entry. Without this protection, the shuttle's structure couldn't withstand the heat, leading to a catastrophic failure that tragically killed all astronauts aboard. This is another one of those disasters that prompted NASA to ground all space shuttle flights temporarily and reevaluate their safety protocols, leading to a major change in both technology and in procedures. All right, guys, that has been our list for today. It was a bit of a dark one, so I appreciate you sticking it out with me. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I will see you again soon. Bye.